so many woods and what I'm doing today is I think they're putting a tool kit together uh, to take into the woods with me so I can make things and dabble yeah because this that is my tool kit there now a knife and a saw which they do good work but I was looking through my tool box and I found this old axe small axe it's about weighs about a pound I've cleaned it up a bit it was a bit really really rusty and it had been beat about at the back there with a hammer and at the top here it's been abused as well it's probably not the best quality axes but you can see the opening for the handle was a bit rough and so is that end so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a stick to put on it so that I can add it to my tool kit I don't want it looking like a new axe or anything I just want it usable so off to find a stick I think ok I found a pile of wood that's been cut it's been cut maybe beginning of last year or maybe just a year before so if I can find a piece that's not too near the ground and it's big enough we'll have a go with that I think that's like a chestnut type chestnut type wood we got here here's a bit right here so I want about 14 inches and this bit up here looks about 14 inches so we'll have a go with that and I'll take it somewhere and we'll rough it out a wee bit see what it looks like ok I've cut a good bit off it it's more or less about 14 inches there there's a other bit over there uh, what I'll do is I'll flatten off the sides of it uh, and then we'll see what happens then so I've basically roughed out the log uh, that's what we're left with it's about 14 inches roughly about 14 inches and inch and a half thick so looks like there's a wee bit of kind of dark rot maybe I don't know but it'll do it's only for a, a wee cam axe so crack on my that and see how we go so I've roughed it out with uh, the knife uh, sort of a shape that I kind of like it'll probably change as I go along but that's it roughed out for now and I'll take it home and fool around with it a little bit only I hope the heat in my flat doesn't split it so I might need to think about keeping it somewhere cool for a while while I'm here uh, doing my handle just looking at my bow tent frame and I finished all the covers for it so it's just a matter of bringing them down and trying them out on the frame I've actually built a new frame I've got it in the house uh, but it's roughly this is roughly the same size give or take a couple of centimetres maybe uh, but what I'm waiting for is for the trees to thicken up a bit more because the path is just over there and you could actually see people walking by and if they can if I can see them they'll be able to see me and I don't want to be coming down and trying out tents during this time 
Uh, people might get the wrong idea thinking you're out camping or something, so just waiting for it to thicken up a wee bit and then I can come down and try my covers and see how the tent goes. So thicken up woods. Okay, I've finished roughing it up for now. Uh, still rough, however, it's getting to be some sort of a shape. So that's that then. Uh, axe handle made with a, a knife, a saw, and a wee bit of sandpaper. I got I found in my, my pocket. Uh, could do with refine that, I'll need to sharpen it right up. It's pretty sharp but you want your your axe to be super sharp. Uh, makes work a lot easier. And maybe I'll put a wee a wee cover on it to keep it uh, Sharp. I need to put a wee wedge in there somehow. I've not got a vice to hold the hold the handle to saw it, so I'll need to wait till I find a way of doing it. But that's it. Ready for work. Ready for an addition to the tool case or the tool bag, whatever it is. Bye now.